Hello Year 10, this is Lesson 2 in the 1.4 booklet on domestic electricity. So we're going to be um, doing some calculations today. You will need a calculator. Remember, in any science exam, you are allowed to take a calculator in. You need to purchase a calculator if you do not have one. And a scientific calculator uh, would be fantastic actually, that would be even better. So, the cost of energy, or anything for that matter, um, we've got an apple here and it costs 17p. We have here, one, two, three, four, five apples. How much would five apples cost? Well, I've seen this. I've had pupils before writing down 17 five times adding up all of those numbers <clears throat> and then working out what the answer is why are you doing that I wouldn't be doing that the much easier way of calculating the cost of five apples would be 17 multiplied by five that's the workings that I would be liking you to write down. I mean, for example, if we had 32 apples, would you be writing down 17p, writing that down 32 times? No, that, that, that's a waste of time. Always, 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 always show your workings and then provide an answer. I'm using my calculator now, 17 times 5 gives me 85 but 85 what 85 pence if you wanted to write down 85 pence in pounds it would look like that those two figures that I'm going to highlight now are the same value easy now here we have three and a half apples. Surely the workings would be three and a half apples times by the 17p. Using my calculator once again, 3.5 times 17 gives me 59 and a half p. Easy, all day long. Now, we've got 24 cans of one of my favorite drinks, Coke Zero. Uh, find out this using the interweb or by other means. Well, uh, 24 pack, I know this because I bought one the other day in Tesco's. It costs eight pounds, right? Work out the cost of one can using your uh, answer to question one. Uh, you can provide two answers, one in pence, and one in pounds. Okay, show your workings. Well, eight pounds is the cost of 24. So if I divide eight pounds by 24 cans, I will get the cost per can. So eight divided by 24 gives me, okay, it gives me this answer here, 0 0.333333. Basically, it's that. So, it says here, uh, work out the cost of one can. So, that would provide me with this value here. It's 0 0.33 pounds, which is, that's to the nearest penny, which is 33 pence. So, each can is 33p or... 0.33 pounds okay now we're going to have a look at the cost of toilet roll now the reason that we that I'm looking at apples and cans and toilet rolls will become obvious in a second let's just stick to the facts here now I'd like you to give this a go I'm going to pause the video for a second. I want you to have a go at this one and see if you get exactly the same answer as I do. 
OK, um, use the following information on consumption of toilet rolls in family X to calculate the cost of toilet rolls used in three months. OK, now the number of toilet rolls bought every month is nine plus nine. So 18 rolls are used each month but we need to calculate the cost of the toilet rolls used in three months so 18 times 3 equals just going to turn to my calculator I'm just going to check 18 times 3 is 54 rolls right 54 rolls but hang on for a second because we have this information as well the number of unused rolls left at the end of three months is three so the number of rolls that were used number of rolls used was my 54 but you take away these three at the end because they are left unused. They weren't used. So it's 54 take away three, which is 51 rolls. Now, using this information here, each roll costs 0.46 pounds. The cost is easy. The cost equals 51 rolls used multiplied by the cost per roll. Now I go back to my calculator, 51 times by 0.46 pounds gives me 23 pounds and 46 pence. In other words, that is 2,346 P in total. That value and that value are exactly the same, just using different units. So, what we've done is we've looked at tangible things. In other words, you can pick up an apple, you can drink, you can hold a can of Coke. You, you know what toilet rolls are used for. You can hold a toilet roll. And this is the trick now because electricity, electricity is not tangible you can't touch it okay but electricity is charged by a unit and that unit is the kilowatt hour or k w k w h so a kettle uses 4.3 units you know like 4.3 apples kilowatt hours so a kettle uses 4.3 kilowatt hours of electricity in a week each kilowatt hour costs nine pence so what's the cost of using the kettle well the cost of one unit is 9p but we haven't used just one unit we've used 4.3 units or kilowatt hours of electricity so 9 times 4.3 will give us the total um, a value of the electricity used 9 times 4.3 equals 38.7 but what are we measuring it in it's a cost that is in pence so 38.7p was the cost of using the kettle for a week. So, the cost of electricity. The amount of electricity you use at home is recorded by your electricity meter. I wonder whether you know where your electricity meter is. Mine is outside.
Some people will be inside, close or above the door. Find out where your electricity meter is. Now, your electricity is charged by the unit. I've mentioned this previously, the kilowatt hour or KWH. The more units you use, the higher your electricity bill will be. Now, it looks like at the start of the week, uh, the number of units listed on your electricity meter was 7,576 kilowatt hours. Boom. At the end of the week, it had gone up because you've got a fridge, you've got a TV, you've got electric showers, you've got electric sockets, you've got lights. Okay, so your electricity meter is going to increase. Now, how many units were used over the week? Very simple. You take your six, uh, sorry, 7690 value, this one here, and you take away what the start was, 7576. And so we work out the number of units of electricity used was 114 units. Now we know that the units are kilowatt hours. You need to put your units in. It's not 114 bananas, it's 114 kilowatt hours. Now the cost of electricity. If each kilowatt hour costs 12p, what's your electric bill? Easy. We've got 114 kilowatt hours. Each one costs 12p. Times those two values together and you get 1,368 pence. But I wouldn't, you know, ask to, I wouldn't go into a shop and, and start trying to work out the total cost of the food shop in pence, I want it in pounds. What do we do to that number, 1,368p, to get it into pounds? You just divide it by 100, there's 100p in a pound. 13 pounds, 68p. Easy. That's the end of this lesson, well done.